I was gonna walk over there, but they, they look like they really don't want me to go over there. So I'm gonna go look for another spot. We'll see how it goes. But look at these deer, fam. Yeah, I'm gonna walk away before they attack me. Let wildlife stay wild. And we're back. Mm. Hey. Hey again. Uh, it is the 7th, April 7th, 4 7 20. Uh, my state governor just said that all schools are going to remain closed until uh, the end of the semester. Uh, so if corona doesn't get fixed by the end of the summer, uh, classes are probably going to be online in the fall. Which is concerning, but it is what it is. More importantly, last video only got 8 views, probably because I made it 18 plus, and a lot of people don't want to lie on the internet, which I think is great. Because it's pretty easy to just put in a fake birthday, say you're born in like 1867, and just, just watch the video. But, I guess I should say thank you to all of you who didn't lie on the internet, because I'm trying my best not to lie on the internet. So, as a reward, this is going to be a PG video. Yeah, uh, it is going to be another story time. This one is actually my first uh, night in college, at college. Because uh, I was already in the system when I went there, because I got accepted. Uh, and I went there for my freshman orientation. Uh, I had two options. I could either do it in a day, and then like make a day trip, or do it in two days, and make it an overnight trip. Uh, overnight, I could have stayed in a hotel, or I could have stayed in a dorm. I chose to stay in the dorm because I wanted to meet people. Meeting people sounded fun. I didn't do like the, the go out into the wilderness adventure thing because nature's not like super fun once you uh, see most of it and I've seen a lot of nature. But uh, at this overnight thing, I uh, started at, by declaring my major, math, here we are. And then uh, I got my bag dropped off in my dorm, or the dorm I was staying at. Now, uh, I went to the University of Arkansas. Uh, University of Arkansas has uh, some really nice dorms called the, the Maple Dorms, or the Quads. I got to stay in Maple. I had a roommate. Uh, it was randomly assigned. He, I walked into my room. He said, uh, don't touch my stuff, and then closed the door. I thought that was going to be the end of that. I thought it was going to be a terrible orientation. But that's what most people's orientation are. It's go into a room and sleep. But then someone from my high school that was there messaged me and said, Hey, uh, I don't have a roommate. Do you want to come to my room? I was like, yeah, sure. Why the hell not? Because I'm bored. You're bored. Let's be bored together. So as I'm walking to this person's room, I see someone carrying pillows. I'm like, what? Why? Uh, and I asked this person, obviously, why you, why do you have these pillows? And lo and behold, the obvious answer was I'm going to make a pillow for it. Because that's what I need pillows for too, I guess. So I was told, go get the pillows out of your room. There's a room full of pillows. Let's go get these pillows. So I go to the room that I was going to, tell him, hey, I'm building a pillow for it now. Do you want to come? He's like, yeah, sure. Grab the pillows. We walk outside. Uh, start moving pillows. And then we see people in the like communal area you know like the the that floor's lounge i guess and uh we just start talking and then more people start showing up and before i know it there was like 20 people in this room it was great it was not during quarantine so we weren't breaking any cdc guidelines uh but we were supposed to be in our rooms and uh, not out and about so we were already rebelling uh and so me and like 20 other people, it's, it was a, we started with a uh, 20-ish people, and I think we peaked around like 45 or 50. People were just in and out of that room all night. Some people wanted to participate, some people just wanted to watch. It was a fun time though. Well, not like 50-50 girls guys, but I honestly don't remember which way it skewed. Uh, we all decided to play uh, Never Have I Ever. And in case you've never played Never Have I Ever, you hold up 
ten fingers. This is five. These are the other five. Someone's got to hold the camera. Uh, and you try to think of things that hopefully someone else in the room has done that you haven't done. Uh, as a person who experimented with a lot of things in high school, uh, it was it was a pretty fun game. Uh, I wasn't the first person out. I wasn't wasn't the last one standing either. But it was a pretty fun game. We got to know a lot about each other and who we were actually dealing with. Uh, and then once that happened, someone decided, I'm hungry, who is delivering pizza right now? Uh, it was like 11-ish midnight at this point, and not a lot of people deliver pizzas that late, but turns out Domino's did at the time. So around midnight, Domino's shows up, uh, and they, we start eating pizza. Uh, I felt a little bad because I was broke and couldn't pay for it, so I only ate, like, one slice. Uh, some, like, the people that paid for it did eat whole pizzas, so I don't feel too bad about it. But once the pizzas were done, uh, and everyone was done with story time, we started playing, uh, Truth or Dare. But because we were college freshmen, it became Dare or Dare. Everyone had to do a dare. So we gave people two dares, and they got to pick which one they wanted. During the time, like, boob luges were, like, a thing, so I poured water down a hairy man's chest for another guy to boob luge. It was pretty sick. Hold up, there's a person coming by. Uh, didn't know which uh, little handle on the faucet was the cold water and the hot water. Filled one, picked one, filled it up, poured warm water down someone's chest way too fast, ended up all over the other person's face. It was kind of funny. Uh, found out that boob luges are actually an art form because it needs practice to do it right. Another one of the dares that I remember someone had to do was uh, they had to uh, go in the elevator with just their panties on. Uh, because we are an equal opportunity university and equal rights means equal fights, uh, a female decided, or a female took the dare, uh, went in the elevator, went down to the floor, and then we were like, it's kind of taken a while for her to come back up. And we realized that the elevators don't work unless you live there, which means you need a fob, which means uh, she didn't have one, so she was stuck in the elevator. So we had to call the elevator, car back up, uh, let her change, and it was pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Someone decided uh, to dare me to streak. Uh, now, we were in a dorm, so uh, in the, and we didn't have, like, a fob, so we couldn't, like... Like get back inside so I didn't streak in the streets instead they were like uh, just hold your underwear and run down this hall I was like yeah I can do that and I'll just put my underwear back on and walk back so I did that I was told I have a nice butt which is very nice to hear uh, and then I got to dare someone else to piss in the sink and they took an empty pizza box and covered where we were watching and just just did it it was it was an intense night. A lot of things happened. Uh, we ended up going back to just storytelling. Uh, and I got to tell a lot of my stories from high school. Because in high school, I was shockingly smart. Didn't need to put effort into a lot of things. So I had a lot of free time. So I did a lot of fun things. Uh, and then, like, 2 or 3 a.m. rolls around. And a lot of people... Uh, decide, this is time to go to sleep. But then about 15 of us decided, uh, no, this is, this is college. You're supposed to stay up all night. This is the story of my first college all-nighter. Uh, so we didn't have a TV, didn't have any games. It was, we didn't have any alcohol, didn't have any drugs. It was a sober all-nighter. And, quite frankly, it was pretty fun. Uh, around... Honestly, I don't even know what we did. I just remember uh, forgetting that time was passing. Uh, by the end of it, uh, we all knew each other by name. We all had each other on Snapchat. Uh, we all were... victims of circumstance, I guess, because, uh, there weren't, like, 
real friends. We were all uh, victims of circumstance because we thought we were going to be in the same graduating class. We thought we were, a lot of us were going to be in the same pledge class because we all wanted, a lot of us wanted to pledge to fraternities and sororities. Uh, I remember we had a sing-off. We had Arkansas versus not Arkansas. Uh, and then we realized those teams were way off, so we had to go Texas versus not Texas, which is weird for an Arkansas school. But uh, Fayetteville is kind of like North Texas. There are a lot of Texans up there. Found out who was on the market and who wasn't on the market. Found out... Uh, a lot about each other and who we wanted to be in college. It was pretty sick. I kind of liked it. Uh, and then the sun comes up around like 6, 6.30, you know. Uh, we see the sunrise. We have somewhere to be at 10. We take a two-hour nap, go shower, change, come back, and we're all like, hey, do you want to sit together at, at the next meeting was supposed to go to so we did we sat together me and the group of people that decided to stay up all night uh we take up a whole row and we're like this is boring as hell what are we gonna do uh and i'm like let everyone just download evil apples and let's just play cards against humanity while this person's talking to us we did that uh we played a few games i won at least one probably don't remember because it was just a fun time and I don't remember uh, the specifics I just remember having fun but uh, there were no drugs involved no alcohol involved but one of my best nights in college my first night in college I guess the moral of the story is that time flies when you're having fun an all-nighter can feel like a few hours uh, and you don't really need friends to have fun because you can just make friends with the people around you uh, you don't need to know where they're from. You don't need to know what they're about. You just need to be where you are, with who you are, and enjoy it. And then a lot of people will enjoy that you're enjoying it and will enjoy it with you. I don't know. This doesn't seem really funny. This just feels like a vlog. Uh, so I guess if I'm going to end with a joke to like make it funny, totally forgot to mention that during this whole night, I was as close to naked as possible uh, without being actually naked, except for the time that I was streaking when I was naked. I was uh, just in boxers the whole time. It was, uh, I, I didn't think about it, really. Uh, but hindsight probably should have been more modest. Uh, during the time, though, it was a great time. Uh, this doesn't really have a joke yet. There's no punchline, uh, and so I guess uh, I'm gonna end this with a joke. Uh, what do you get when you enter a room with 20 to 50 strangers? 20 to 50 Snapchats. All right, that might be a joke. I don't know, but I'm done with this vlog. Uh, see you Thursday. Um, hopefully, it'll be a funnier story. Um, hopefully, with some more trees uh i don't know if i get total if i get locked inside anytime soon i'm gonna be pretty upset uh but uh i guess the big decision right now is where do you want to shelter in place right i don't know food for thought anyways um corona doesn't go down in the next few weeks all of our experts are wrong and society's gonna collapse, maybe. I don't know. But that's just the way things are right now. Uh, so that's it for today. See you next time. Thanks for watching.